Hey, my name is Hubwood and today we are going to talk about the brand new AMD CPU, the Ryzen 5 7640HS from the so-called Phoenix series or Phoenix range. And I wish I could just hold it in my hands to show it to you, but it's kind of soldered to this laptop's motherboard. So, well, however, just like most Ryzen 5 CPUs, it's a 6-core, 12 thread CPU and it's based on the new Zen 4 architecture by AMD um, that is built on the 4 nanometer process. A single core of this CPU can boost up to 5 GHz and the all-core turbo boost clock depends on the power delivery of the used laptop while it can be configured with 35 to 54 Watt. In the case of the used Lenovo LOQ15 or LOQ15 which I use for today's review, that was a stable 4.65 GHz at 55 Watt after the initial short-term boost with around 65W. It integrates the fast RDNA 3 graphics card, the RX 760M, which has 8 of the 12 CUs that a RX 780M provides and boosts up to 2.6GHz, while its performance depends quite a lot on the used DDR5 RAM of the laptop. But luckily, my version had a um, 5600 MHz RAM, so that was fine. It will also have a weaker little sibling, the Ryzen 5 7640U, which will be designed for up to 28 Watt in smaller, thin and light laptops. And that version is also going to include the integrated RX 760M, which will make it interesting for cheap and mobile laptops that can provide some gaming performance and great battery life without a dedicated GPU. If such laptops actually ever get built in a big scale, since there are almost no such examples for its predecessor, the Ryzen 5 6600U. But once I can get my hands on one of these U versions, I will surely test it as well. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss that review. The laptop I was using for testing this is, as mentioned, the Lenovo Log 15 gaming laptop, which came with this new Ryzen 5 CPU, as well as 16GB of fast DDR5 RAM with 5600 MHz, an RTX 3050 refresh with 6GB of VRAM, and a 170 watt hour AC adapter. And now let's have a look at some benchmarks. In Cinebench R23, the Ryzen 5 7640HS is able to clearly outperform its predecessor, the mentioned Ryzen 5 6600H by around 25% and almost catch up to 4% within the range of recent i5 mobile CPUs of the same class, probably making it the fastest pure 6-core mobile CPU if you don't count its bigger brother, the Ryzen 5 7645HX, which isn't available just yet, at least in Europe. It's even been able to outperform the last generation Ryzen 7 6800H by around 12.5% in the single-core test thanks to the much better IPC slash smaller manufacturing process. Please keep in mind that the values of the other CPUs in this diagram are averages based on the notebookcheck.com archive and can vary a lot from laptop to laptop. In Geekbench 5, we are getting similar results as in Cinebench R23 with the Ryzen 5 7640HS is almost catching up to recent Intel mobile CPUs while again clearly outperforming its predecessor by around 35% in the multi-core and 32% in the single-core test. So AMD kind of managed to really make up for the relatively slow 6000 mobile series. In Blender version 3.3 I was rendering the classroom demo file in which the Ryzen 5 outperformed the i5 12500H and the i5 13500H by a few seconds while the last gen Ryzen 7 and the Intel i7 12500H and 13700H were quite a bit faster. And the CPU test in the 3 Mark Time Spy game gave the following results. The Ryzen 5 7640HS was only able to outperform its direct predecessor by 28%, but was clearly left behind by all other CPUs in the test field. I also ran a few tests on the integrated graphics card the RX 760M. In 3D Mark Time Spy and File Strike, the results were as follows. The RX 780M is around 40% faster than the slower RX 760M in the synthetic benchmarks, which aligns pretty well with the 50% higher CU count it has. The RX 760M is clearly faster than the Iris Xe 69 EUs, 
which is still Intel's current integrated graphics for its mobile CPUs. I also tested some games in which I compared the RX 760M to the RX 780M with the same RAM configuration because I upgraded it to 32GB of DDR5 5600MHz RAM. As we can see here in real gaming benchmarks, the difference between these two iGPUs isn't actually that big with an average of around 28% difference. The RX 760M is still fast enough for some 1080p gaming with 30fps if you're willing to make use of FSR or lower the settings a bit. In some games, you could even use medium or high settings if you're okay with not getting more than 30fps and eSport titles should be no problem in most cases. I will also post a dedicated video of these two cards um, in comparison soon, so make sure to check that one out as well. Alright, that's all for today's look at the Ryzen 5 7640HS with its RX 760M. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more laptop related reviews and tests, as I will also review the laptop, the Lenovo LOQ15 Log15 attached to this CPU. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye bye and tschüss.